Hello and welcome back to West Brom Fan TV. Now, got some more news today. Not the news I was expecting to give you all on my 18th birthday, but um, Mail Sport has came out and um, said that Sam Johnston is set to sign for Crystal Palace on a five-year deal. Now, I know many of you lot are probably panicking about this and thinking, yeah, he, that's, that's our best keeper gone, but has he really been that good recently? I mean... That game that we seen against Huddersfield was an absolute catastrophe for him in goal. Um, and David Button hasn't really been too bad, I think. I think he's been a decent keeper throughout the season for us. Um, he hasn't made any significant mistakes from what I can recall. Some people arguing about the goal against Forrest, but come on. Absolute worldy that was. No saving that. But I think it's about time he's left, to be fair, Johnston. I mean... You can kind of tell by his mentality sometimes that he doesn't always feel as connected to the fans as, say, he was at Aston Villa. And, I mean, that's uh, nothing against the lad because, obviously, people settle in in different ways to different places. But I think that he'd do much better at another club and I think that his wage bill is um, better to be off, I guess, out of the um, club than still in it because... It does draw quite a lot of money out, which could be spent on getting someone who is um, maybe more clinical in uh, front of goal. Because as we've seen last season as well, with um, the teams we've played and the games we've been in, our defence isn't necessarily as bad as some of the um, midfield and attackers. So it's quite positive in a way, because maybe this money that's just came off the wage budget will... Looking at Guchuan Live, probably not, but maybe it'll be invested into something that's going to help the club more. Maybe some better signings like Jed Wallace, who I was talking about yesterday, um, or even Tom Lawrence from Derby, because he's a top player. We've seen him play a, f a few times this season. He always seems to shine against us, especially that time when I remember we went away to um, Pride Park and lost 3 1. So. I don't think it's as bad news as probably most people would think because as, as like the, the diehard fans who've been every game this season, we've seen that he isn't necessarily a world beater as well as we've also got two really good young keepers in Alex Palmer and um, Josh Griffiths. So, yeah, I don't have much else to say on the matter, but if he does leave, well, all the best to Sam Johnston. But I think we'll be fine without him. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe. And um, keep up to date with all the Albion content on the channel, West Brom Fan TV. We're going to have plenty more coming. And um, me and Connor are both very excited for the new season. Making more videos and hopefully producing a bit more content together. Uh, with predictions. And maybe also a couple of um, debate videos or atmosphere videos or even podcasts so um yeah thank you for watching up the albion from your baggies keep the faith